So we're coming to the end of 2023, and I want to do a roundup of the tools that I personally either bought into this year, tested and really enjoyed, or they've been updated and expanded to make them even more powerful than they were previously. Now, most of these are web design orientated, but there are a couple inside you that are more creator orientated tools. You may or may not enjoy those topics, but let's take a look at the first of many options that I want to cover in this video. So let's kick things off with Bricks Builder. Now, this isn't the only tool out there for creating amazing looking websites with WordPress, but this is growing into an incredible platform for building websites for both beginners, intermediate and more advanced people. It's growing a great ecosystem around it, opening up even more potential for creating and building amazing websites. And if you want to check out all the tutorials that I create for this and additional plugins and tools around Bricks Builder, you can check things out on learnbricksbuilder.com, which is my dedicated website to all the content I create on Bricks Builder and the tools around it. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. Now, next on my list is a recent addition to my toolkit in 2023, and that's Core Framework. Now, if you're new to frameworks, they basically have an easy way of being able to speed up your design development process while keeping consistency in mind. You, instead of using various different kind of settings and things throughout whatever builder you choose, you can centralize everything here and just make everything quick and easy. Now, you can use this with Gutenberg for free, but if you want to use it with Oxygen or you want to work with Bricks, then you do have the marketplace and you can buy additional add-ons that allow you to integrate this directly into those builders, streamlining the whole process. You don't need to, you can use it without. It just becomes considerably easier to work with those builders and core framework if you have those add-ons. I've got no skin in the game. I'm not getting any money for this if you decide to purchase one or you want to stick with the Gutenberg, which is totally free, or you want to do it manually. It makes no difference to me whatsoever, but those options are there. Core Framework is what I've chosen to work with, and I will be creating more content on the channel covering Core Framework alongside Bricks and maybe some other options. So make sure you are subscribed to be notified when new content is released. Now, a tool that is rapidly becoming absolutely essential for me is Advanced Thema. Now, Advanced Thema dropped 2.3 literally today. And with that, they've released the CSS Grid Builder, where we can visually create CSS grids in a manner of different kind of ways. You could certainly do this by hand, but the visual way just makes it so much nicer and easier. On top of that, there are so many options that Advanced Thema brings to Bricks Builder that I couldn't even begin to cover them in this video or any dedicated video. But if you want to streamline and update your interface, add lots of shortcuts and enhancements to the editor itself, also bringing in additional tools if you don't work with the framework or you do work with the framework. There's so many great options that Advanced Thema brings with it. Is it essential? Absolutely not. You can still do everything pretty much that this offers, but you can't do it as quick as using Advanced Thema. So for me, this is something that streamlines my workflow on top of working with Core Framework that gives me a much more rapid development environment to create great looking websites using Bricks Builder. Now, the last Bricks edition on my list is Bricks Forge. This is relatively new, even though I've had access to this for probably the best part of a year. I recently started to delve into it. I released a video on the Pro Forms feature yesterday. Check that link in the description. But again, this is another one of those tools that adds so many possibilities to what you can do with Bricks Builder. It not only enhances what you can do with native functions, it also brings a lot of functions to the actual table that you can't do inside Bricks. For example, you want to do animation with GSAP, you can do it here. You want to use this with 3D images, you can do it here. You want to boost what you can do with forms, the Pro Forms gives you that ability. There's so many great features inside you. It does come with a pretty steep learning curve. I'm not going to lie. You do need to invest the time into working with this, but I will be releasing a series of videos covering various different topics. So again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and notify you as soon as they are actually released. But Bricks Forge is one I think you want to check out if you want to take Bricks Builder to another level and increase the functionality you have as part of that already pretty amazing toolkit. Now, before moving on, here's a quick message from today's video sponsor, Hostinger. Kickstart your WordPress journey with Hostinger's high performance hosting solutions and 24 7 chat support. You can ensure your site shines bright with plans to suit every need. Plans include free SSL, free domain, a supercharged CDN, and automated backups. Plus, you can experiment safely with their WordPress staging tools, backup with a click, and let their WordPress AI help you out where needed, with prices from just $2.59 per month. Now, discover more via the link in the description below. With Hostinger, find the perfect plan for you today.
Now, when it comes to working with websites, I deploy a lot of websites very, very quickly. And to make my life easier, I use InstaWP. Now, I've been using this for probably over a year. I picked it up on AppSumo as soon as it came up on there, and I've expanded my plan to have even more options. But this just makes working with building websites so incredibly quick and easy. I've released three videos on this covering various different aspects as it's grown and developed. But for me, I can spin up a website in a matter of a second. I can create templates that have all the plugins and themes I want so I can rapidly deploy that. I can clone websites and I can have starter kits all set up, clone that out and start working on an exact duplicate of that website. Now, this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with InstaWP. But if you want an environment where you can spin up WordPress incredibly quickly, you can have templates, you can save sites, you can export or migrate sites once you've worked on them, and so much more, I do recommend checking out InstaWP. And again, I'll link to my latest video in the series so you can see a lot of the core features that you have here to give you a good indication of whether this is right for you. Now, if you prefer to work with the native functionality with WordPress and you don't want to use page builders or anything like that, there's a theme that kind of really captured my attention this year that I created a couple of videos on and really liked working with it. So if you want to stick with full site editing and you want to stick with just basic WordPress, Ollie is a theme that I think you should definitely take a look at. It's beautifully designed, streamlined, quick, and easy to work with. But what really sets it apart for me are the quality of the patterns you have as part of the overall library. And this basically means you can very quickly create websites, use those as starting points, build out your pages, wireframe things if you want to, and then edit them to create something beautifully created and simple and streamlined to work with. So if you are looking for a nice theme to work with when it comes to working with full site editing, alongside the native Gutenberg functionality and some great patterns, Ollie is a theme I think you should definitely take a look at. It's definitely got my recommendation anyway. Now, when you want to move away from just working with the native functionality with WordPress, and anybody who knows me knows that I love Generate Press and Generate Blocks, especially the pro versions. And Generate Blocks this year has definitely moved on and become a much, much better platform to work with. It was already pretty good at the beginning of the year, but they've expanded into Flex. CSS Grid is included in this. There's a lot of great options. Dynamic Data is easy to work with inside Generate Blocks Pro. And also Generate Blocks, there's a great lot of options in the free version. So you can test things out before you spend a single penny. And you may find everything you need is included there. But if you look looking for a simple stripped back way of creating your Gutenberg based websites, but you want a bit more flexibility than just a native editor, Generate Blocks is the one for me personally that I go to every single time. And I use this on a lot of websites, both free and commercial and for personal projects. I absolutely love what you can do with this. The Snippet Club is a great little place if you're looking for Pretty cool code snippets. And one that I came across this year, thanks to Carl Van Dusen from the admin bar, was the dynamic template tags. Now I've covered this in a couple of videos and basically what this does is it allows us to very easily use simple short codes to tap into ACF fields, ACPT, Metabox, and also Cube WP, also options pages, native functionality inside WordPress itself, so things like users and stuff like that. But you can use this with simple short code tags and output dynamic data anywhere you want on your website. You can have this inside the flow of text. You can put it anywhere. It opens up so many cool possibilities. It's 20 bucks and you can use it on as many websites as you want. It's a simple little block of code. Watch Kyle's video on it, watch my video on it, and you will be off to the races. I'll put a link to this in the description down below as well. But Snippets Club itself has a lot of great snippets, code snippets for lots of different use cases. Check it out. I think you may actually really like this if you want to tap into that dynamic data and create more personalized, unique websites. Now, when it comes to building websites using your Gutenberg blocks, whether that's using Generate Press or whether using native functions inside Gutenberg itself, Block Visibility and Block Visibility Pro, which is now completely free, is a must have little plugin. This does what its name suggests. It allows you to control block visibility to show or hide based upon tons of different conditions, which can be stacked on top of each other to create pretty comprehensive sets of conditions. If you want to create a simplistic kind of membership site where you lock content away and only give access to logged in users with certain roles, you could use block visibility. Want to tap into advanced custom fields fields and show them or hide them based upon certain conditions? You can do it here. You, you kind of get the idea what you can do. Again, I've used this in several different videos and it is a must have plugin that needs to be installed if you work with Gutenberg at all or any of those kind of block based tools. Now sticking with the term block, which is kind of a tenuous link to this next one, 
Bloxy. Bloxy is probably one of my favorite themes. If you want to have an all-in-one theme where you don't need to add in lots of extra plugins, you want to work with WooCommerce and have a great looking starter site, you can do it with Bloxy. Want to have a blog, you want to have an online site for your business, you can do it with Bloxy. Want to create a great looking blog, you kind of get the idea where I'm coming from. And 2.0 was released last month. And if you are a WooCommerce user or you want to work with advanced custom fields, Bloxy Pro version 2 has so many great features included in it. It's expanded what you can do with WooCommerce, including a lot of additional add-on plugin kind of features without the additional add-on of plugins, if you get where I'm coming from. So you wanna have color swatches, you wanna have various different things like that. You can do it all with Bloxy Pro. It's just very, very quick and easy. A beautiful header and footer builder included in the free version, tons of customization options. There's not a lot you can't do with this. And if you want to work with dynamic data, and again, you don't want to have to worry about having additional plugins, you can do an awful lot just using Advanced Custom Fields Free and Bloxy Pro. Pretty cool in my books. Now, no matter what website you have, one of the things you're going to want to do is, well, track what's going on. How many visitors, how many bounces you get, what percentage of bounce rates, what's your most popular pages, you kind of get the idea. Now, the de facto standard has pretty much always been Google Analytics, and for a lot of use cases, that may be the perfect option. However, most clients, most users don't need that massive amount of data. So this is where a tool like independent analytics can really come in pretty cool. This is totally free unless you want to go with the pro version, which adds some extra features on. But for lots of use cases, the free gives more than enough data to be able to analyze what's going on, where your audience is coming from, what they're viewing, how long they're staying on there, those kinds of things or be done with the free version. If you want to tap into UTMs, things like that, and track those kinds of things, you are going to need the pro or premium version. But again, like I say, if you're doing this just to have some basic statistics, the free version is more than enough. Check it out. Again, I've covered this in its own dedicated video. And Independent Analytics have been nice enough to sponsor videos in the past. I love working with these guys. They really are creating a pretty solid product. Now, let's be honest, this list wouldn't be complete if I didn't include advanced custom fields. And you're probably saying, well, Paul, but you've covered advanced custom fields for years. And you would be right. But only this year did they include the ability to create our custom taxonomies and our custom post types, removing the need for additional plugins to handle what would be considered pretty fundamental things. They've also been tweaking what's going on underneath the hood. There's a lot of nice little quality of life improvements with advanced custom fields and the pro version. But the ability to be able to create those custom post types and those taxonomies just makes this a much fuller package, in my opinion. And I use this on so many different projects, even simple projects, because it gives me so many controls to be able to just customize various different aspects. And if you combine this, if you're working with things like Gutenberg, combine this with things like block visibility, combine it with something like, you know, generate blocks, and you have a pretty solid toolkit. Want to go even further? Well, work with tools like Bricks Builder. So many dynamic options available in there. So for me, ACF is probably my go-to when it comes to working with meta fields and dynamic data and custom post types and so on, which I do a lot. It's pretty cool. I like what they've done this year, and I want to see them continue with that progression in 2024. Now, this final collection of tools are things that if you're a creator, content creator, working with creating blogs, post articles, things like that, sharing things on social media, all manner of creative endeavors, these are tools that really can make your life a lot easier. Now, the first one is Shots.so, and this allows us to create amazing looking mockups using various different tools. Great if you want to share content on social media. Now, I released a video on this early this year, and that absolutely blow up with about a quarter of a million views on it. The best thing is, this is absolutely free. There's not a single penny or cent required to be able to use the full functionality. Let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about. You can see this is a typical landing page thing, so we're going to just paste in something I've screen grabbed. You can see now we have a great looking screen grab. I can customize the look of this. I can go over, I can just adjust things like the position of this. I can use predefined kind of styles if I want to. I can hop over to the right hand side and I can adjust things like the background. So we can add some noise into the background. We can change the background color based upon the color scheme that's being pulled in from the screen grab that we have. We can drop in various different background colors. You can see we can put solid colors in. We can use these fantastic looking gradients. So many great options inside here. We can also change the aspect ratio, say 16 by 9, which is great for videos. And also we can come back out and we say we want to change this from a screenshot. We want to make it look like a browser. Looks pretty cool. We want to make it look like it's on a tablet, for example, or a laptop. Just click, 
job done, everything is included. And you can see we can customize it based upon these options on the right hand side, or we can customize it ourselves using any of these options below. Pretty cool in my opinion. And then you can come in, you can choose to export this as one, two, or four times the size in PNG or JPEG. So you want really high resolution, set it to be four times. Then click to download it, or you can simply copy it and paste it into another tool. It is fantastic for creating great looking mockups to use for all manner of different things. And now you know my little secret, you'll probably see this in lots of different places on my website, social media, and so on. Now the cat's out of the bag, you know how to do it for yourself. Now in 2023, I'm creating a lot more written content to back up the videos that I create and just share information and tutorials and guides. One of the things that I use to do this and make it just a little bit more streamlined, alongside some other tools which you're gonna go into in a moment, is Grammarly Pro. Now I am using the Pro version of this. I was quite reticent about investing the money in this, but I wanted to test out the plagiarism checker, the AI functionality, and just get a feel for whether it was right for me. Long story short, it absolutely is. I can easily come into anything that I've created, I can paste it inside you and I can optimize that content. I can check for plagiarism if I'm using AI in any kind of way. It is a re really, really good kind of set of tools to open up what you can do. Combining this with another tool that I use, which is seowriting.ai, and you have a very powerful combination. I use SEO writing to create content. I'll then put that into Grammarly Pro, check it for plagiarism, update and tweak it, rewrite various different aspects to make it a bit more in my tone of voice. And then I've got that SEO optimized content ready to be able to use alongside some other tools. Now this isn't all that I use, but SEO writing.ai is probably one of the better AI writing tools that I've come across. It feels a little bit more natural, it's structured. There's a lot of great options you can use inside you. So there's a free plan, you can test it out, but I've been using the paid for version for probably the last five or six months, and I use it quite regularly. Just speeds up the process of creating some kinds of content for me. Now I'm pairing all these different kinds of tools up with another tool, which is unfortunately, it's a Mac only application, but creating videos like you probably know that I do, creating transcripts of the content can be time consuming, and Mac Whisper, which is came to my attention earlier this year, thanks to David McCann over at WebTNG. It's a great little tool. You can download this for free if you want to check it out and you can use it and it gives really good results. But it's like $29 for the pro version, which opens up more AI libraries. And this uses the AI writing, I believe, libraries. You can transcribe this. You can have it transcribed into other languages. There's so many things you can do. I use this to transcribe my video content and then I'll simply tweak it to make sure it's actually all correct. And then I'll output that as subtitles, but I'll also use it in another way. I'll grab the content as a transcript, so everything is included in there. Then I'll drop that into ChatGPT and ask it to create either a tutorial or to summarize it into a blog post. And then I'll use that alongside some other tools to create a written version of video tutorials that I've been creating. And this has worked out incredibly well over the last few months, getting number one positions in Google for quite a lot of my content. So for example, if we hop over to the Learn Bricks website, you'll see, for example, this control line length. If we open this up, this is a transcript version where I've customized everything. It's created the CSS code, the HTML code, which has been checked out to make sure it all worked correctly. I've tweaked a few things on here. We have a full transcribed example of exactly what I've covered in the video to back things up. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. I'm getting a written version, which is taken from my transcript, so it's what I've created, and then I can expand and flesh that out to create written versions to enhance what I've got with my video content. And like I say, this is working incredibly well this year, giving me pretty good results on the SEO side of things. And those are the tools that I've come to use over the last year that have sped up my process of creating websites, creating content, creating videos, releasing things, social media sharing, and so many other areas. But as always, these are my choice of tools. What are your choice of tools? Let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me some of the tools that you've come across this year in 2023 that have changed the way in which you work, sped things up, make life easier, whatever it's done to make your life, or you just think it's damn cool. Let me know in the comment section so I can check them out. As always, all applicable links will be in the description. My name's Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.